Hi guys, so uh, this week's video I'm going to be talking to my good friend Jane Duffy who has uh, kindly done all my electrolysis for me and we're going to be talking all about electrolysis, um, why you should choose electrolysis, what the benefits are and really just explaining also a bit about um, what the, well first and foremost what the uh, BIAE is which is the British Institute Institute of and Association and of Electrolysis and why you should choose an electrolysis electrologist 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 who belongs to this institute um why should you choose someone who comes from that body we've all had to pass not only a, a written exam mm -hmm. or an oral exam I mean when I did it it was an oral exam and we've also had to do a practical exam, so mm. we're, we're all tested quite regularly for our, to make sure that we're up to a good standard. Which is going to be better than potentially someone who's just bought a kit and doesn't have any kind of formal training. Unfortunately, you could go out tomorrow, Charlie. Mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to say that, am I? Sorry. And you could buy <laughs> a machine and set up the next day. Mm. <clears throat> which isn't good yeah. and obviously if you do go with somebody who's got that level of training it's going to for many reasons obviously you're going to get a better experience you're going to it's going to be a lot less discomfort for you because you're going to get someone who's just got a lot more uh, expertise and e expertise experience and the majority <laughs> you know especially for, for transgender work would have done transgender courses which is a huge help especially mm. when it comes to surgical site mm. hair removal mm. and going to someone like the BIAE's website you can choose like I did my gender clinic gave me a list of um of people qualified um on the BIAE register or um, so you can pick someone who's actually got experience of working with transgender people which has got a lot of benefits I think least of all you know when you're starting off in transition and you know you perhaps feel a bit less comfortable about yourself you're going to go see someone who's got um, you know who's cool with with you who's not going to treat you in a, um, a strange way and just you're just going to feel more comfortable and more confident and um, it's, it's good. Who's going to treat you as as you present on the day? Absolutely. You know, if you present as a lady or as a gentleman in transition, mm -hmm. you know, it does work both ways. So, mm. you know, you've got to, you've got to be sort of Sympathetic. I'm not sure whether that's quite the right word, but but yeah, understanding, understanding, yes, understanding, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so one thing I was going to say as well to start with is, you know, what has electrolysis done for me? You know, why choose electrolysis? Um, for me, obviously, I have a lot of blonde hair, which is um, nice in some ways, but unfortunately, my um, my facial hair that I had to get rid of, a lot of it was blonde. And if you've got blonde or red or just very fair hair, anything that basically isn't sort of jet black, really, um, laser's not going to work on it, unfortunately. Um, now, I did have laser for the, the black hair, um, which was really effective and worked really well. And it's very quick and it's a great thing. It's a great solution. But unfortunately for me, there was like a lot of blonde hair that mm. still left and it's taken quite a long time to you know to work through that and to um, well I, I you know. would describe it as lazy is <clears throat> a bit of a sprint and electrolysis is a marathon mm. but you know it is a it is a long slow job but we know full well that it works mm. and with with repeated treatment and a little you know hair growth regrowth it will it yeah. will kill yeah the follicle and mm. And I, you know, and I've seen that obviously, you know, over time it's yeah. it, like for me now, it's, I mean, gosh, you know, when I first came to see you, um, we were doing an hour, an hour a week. We were doing an hour a week. We were. We weren't always doing like the whole face. No, we? That was just like some of it. So now we do what, like generally sort of 20, 25 minutes 
every, every two, two weeks. three weeks yeah well certainly you know and it's i mean if i don't do anything you apart from the odd hair that you kind of like see on a sunny day in your reflection it's not um yeah you know we're on the home straight aren't we so it's and hopefully you just cut that hair and you don't pluck don't it out pluck it ever cut it yes i don't ever pluck sure. it okay. <clears throat> the other thing to consider is that um for prior to having um your srs um all surgeons uh well that we know in the UK who are operating on the NHS demand well not accept laser as a, as a permanent treatment they won't no. they just won't have it it's got to be electrolysis mm. and so if you're doing um well you're going to have to have electrolysis in that area as well if some people some people obviously don't have to but I think mm. that's more when they have um skin grafts when when you know the skin just isn't appropriate for mm. for what for what's got to happen to it so mm. but other than that they, they just won't accept it well i mm. i haven't found one that'll accept it in this in this country no you know the ones i've dealt with i mean i had laser down there to start with but again you know it it, it made some impact but um you know there was still some of the there was, there we was, had to do. You still had to do quite a bit. Yes. And is it painful? Uh, d if you don't use Emla cream, yes. <laughs> it's not too bad. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. it's one of those things, isn't it? It's just, you know. Yeah. No. I mean, that was one thing when we started doing it. Um, Jane, obviously, the experience that she has said, you know, use Emla cream. Put it on um this is an anesthetic cream that you can buy um i think you can buy it over the counter you Boots. can in most pharmacies it, it can be a bit tricky but, sometimes but you can order but you can it get it on but you can get it on prescription mm. or oh, can you yeah you can get it on okay. prescription mm -hmm. i mean i i was ordering it online i i, I mean perhaps because i was being a bit lazy but you can just buy it through the internet um and if you use that um you can complete it's like a um an anesthetic cream so you can completely numb the area that you're going to treat and it does work very well um and, and you do have to cover then the area that you've put the cream on with cling film with cling film once yes. the air gets to it it starts to lose its effectiveness effectiveness yes so, so. lots of amla cream and cling film and you'll be fine <laughs> Um, another thing is, some people have asked me, you know, do you get much swelling? Um, I tend to find, obviously, straight after electrolysis, yeah, you know, there's a bit of redness and swelling, but I always have it in the evening. The next morning, maybe the next day, like a little bit, but, you know, nothing, nothing really, and certainly within like a day or so. Um, you know, it's nothing you can't cover with a bit of foundation. So, um it's you know it's not something you really need to to worry about i don't think and if people are uh, it depends some people are a little more sensitive than others and you just you just work to their to their skin type and mm -hmm. and what they can take some people you know you just thin out a, a little bit so you don't work on one area for any length of time but mm -hmm. some people you can work on an area for a for a good length of time and and, and it doesn't have any reaction you know, it really is, you know, it, it's trial and error to start with and see mm. see what people can take and... Yeah, and it, everybody's an individual, aren't they? It's Absolutely. What, what works for one person. Absolutely. Mm. I mean, I've, I've just recently had a, a lady started with me and she absolutely hated it. Really, really hated <clears> it. <throat> but the way around it now, she brings her music and her headphones mm. and she just loses herself in her music. Mm. So... Mm. So that's really fine good, yeah. that's fine i don't you know mm -hmm. what you know if it suits her and it mm -hmm. and it gets her through a treatment that's absolutely marvelous yeah it's a really good idea so yeah it's good hey guys so um i've literally had like full electrolysis on my face about two hours ago it's probably in fact like an hour and a half um so we've done like literally all the way across here and here and you can see i mean you know really there's not like any kind of redness so just gives you an idea of what you can expect um 
after having electrolysis so it's yeah it's pretty good really it's pretty cool i hope you found that interesting um you could see there obviously me having electrolysis you could see the reaction or should i say the lack of reaction you know it's quite it's a little bit stingy sometimes depending on where it is like obviously around here is quite a sensitive area but really it's not a painful thing for me i know everybody's level of pain varies in terms of their pain threshold um but really that is another reason why you should try and find someone from say like the bia who knows um who knows what they're doing and is going to have a lot more experience at dealing with um you know, dealing with people who experience more pain um finding a technique that works for them like jane said using the headphones um I mean, one of the issues that people sometimes say with electrolysis is that, yeah, it's quite a slow process. And yeah, okay, it takes time. But <clears throat> when you're looking at hair, permanent hair removal options, I think really you've got to look at things and think about the whole, um, look about it in terms, look at it in terms of your whole life, basically, and think, well, actually, yeah, you know, it might take me a year or two to do a particular area or it might take me less but ultimately what is that time worth in terms of your whole life for me now not having to deal with hair at all it's the best thing you know it was a constant um reminder every day having to deal with it um throughout my transition that you know where i'd come from and stress you know if i went out and i didn't come home for a few days or all kinds of things and when you don't have to deal with that it's so nice and if you use laser laser is fantastic if you have the right color hair i know people who've done their whole face on laser and it's just that's it they're done um if you're like me and you have fair hair you're gonna have to look at electrolysis um and it's really just um it's a good thing it's you know it's a good for me, finding Jane's great because she was so relaxed with me when I first saw her, and I was still quite nervous at that point in time. And especially knowing that you know we were starting on my face, but then we were going to be doing like the area for pre-surgery, which is quite nerve-wracking. Um, I'll be honest. I mean, I don't have um, throughout transition. I've become quite an uninhibited an person because of. All the things that I've had to go through but nonetheless I think finding someone who's relaxed with you at that stage in their life can make things a lot easier and a lot less stressful and finding someone like Jane who is a member of the BIAE literally looking at all their list of people who work with transsexuals straight away you know you're going to get somebody who like we said in the discussion you're going to get someone who is going to treat you like anyone else and it's going to take a lot of um, a lot of potential stress out of the situation. So I'd really recommend that. Um, I'm going to wrap things up there because this video is quite long. If there's anything else you'd like to know about electrolysis that I've not mentioned in this video, please let me know. I'm going to put some links um, to various well to the BIAE and also any questions you guys have got of course like normal put your comments in the box and i will look forward to seeing you next wednesday uh we've got a video coming up soon on laser so similar kind of ideas and just talking really about that and um, some advice that i want to share with you on that subject so i hope you're all ready for christmas and i'll see you all next week bye